Good morning, Leo. Welcome to your monthly reading. <laughs> so when I tapped into your energy, the thing that came up was holding hands. Two people holding hands. Spirit likes to speak in riddles, so there could be something coming up here. For some of you guys, I feel like you need to check out your, well, either sun or rising sign what's the reading because there might be a continuation when it comes to that maybe you are sun leo or you're rising leo maybe even moon leo blossoming and blooming but holding hands holding hands is a symbolism of love right it's this energy of being connected being deeply connected what are you being deeply connected with so I'm going with the flow in these readings. I might not take the same cards for every sign. Yeah, I have music playing in the background. You actually came up in the Leo reading. Oh, <laughs> you did come up in the Leo reading. You came up, maybe you are Cancer. You came up in Cancer's reading. Yeah, where I talked about the music that I'm listening to right now. It's a... Uh, um it's music to attract money and love immediately so i will link that down below for anyone who wants to hear it but i also feel for you the universe is actually making things happen for you this next month ahead You are the creator, but we are showing you the way. Leo. What is this? Selenite and willow tree. Goddess spiral. Riches, I don't know how to pronounce this, a passage. Dreams and support. You might dream a lot. You might be guided in your dreams. You might feel more sensitive. It makes sense why the cancer energy might actually come up in your reading because you might be very connected with the moon, with your emotions at the moment. So you feel deep, which for Leo, I'm Leo rising, for Leo to feel comes naturally, I will say. But it can be confusing at times to feel deep, to tap into your gut instinct and feelings. Hmm. We also have support. So there is a lot of support around you. The universe, again, the universe got your back. And with the riches, rights, riches, uh, sorry that I can't, yeah. I don't know if it focuses on it, but there you go. Everything that's standing in your way is being removed. And I have uh, Lapis Lazuli in front of me. No? <laughs> right or right? Wow. Well, Lab. Lab Rhetorite and Lapis Lazuli might be crystals that can actually help you this next month ahead. 414. Let's take the book and see what else we can get. I actually also got guided. Ooh, you're steering away. Oh, okay. We have a peace sign. Peace and harmony. Maybe there is peace coming in a situation. <laughs> we have a bet, which for me is this energy of the rich, the, okay, removing the old, but also diving into the dark. Don't be afraid because I also feel with the Leo, Leos, you guys are just so sweet, right? And so bubbly and happy. So sometimes Digging into the more deeper mysterious energies can sometimes be hard for a Leo. I have a lot of Scorpio in me, so I feel it comes easy for me to dig deep. 
to unravel what's hidden and i feel you need to do that this is a leo <laughs> isn't it it's a crown on something oh this is leo you are stepping fully into your energy with the mask i feel like you are two things you're being asked to to show who you really are not hide um what do you say that behind wow <laughs> not hide behind a mask but also this mask is like very like secretive right like sensual sexual energy there's something mysterious i feel the universe is dragging you into something that's mysterious do you have scorpio somewhere in your chart you also have a heart with a little heart love 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 giving birth to something we have i don't know what you call that what you steer a boat with so you are steering your own boat you are learning to steer something um oh a scarecrow could be a sign of october halloween season you're preparing for something the swallow oh and by the way also with the scarecrow um well we do use scarecrows to scare away birds from our crops right so i feel like you are putting up a protective shield so that people don't dig around in your business swallows are a sign of abundance it's um a sign of money coming in and then we have the leaf well leaves needs to come naturally we are in a season right now where there is not much leaves on the tree right because that every season the trees does have to unravel <laughs> unravel well rattle off the leaves and i feel that's something that has happened like you are taking away the old so that the new can be um can be born so that is that that is that willow tree i mean willow trees wow that's something mysterious right that's something scary there's something you might be a little scared about Maybe that's something about magic, witchery, where you're like, ooh, I don't know if I actually dare dig into this topic because I don't know much about it. Well, if you just dig into it. I saw that's actually something about willow trees. Grandmother Willow is associated with the goddess, the water, all that is feminine, and the new moon. She whispers through the wind and the earth. Her roots spread deep, searching for the stream, of life that carries her energy and messages to the ocean. You are recognizing the pattern emerging. I hope you release the blockages, which makes sense with the selenite because selenite is cleansing. It cleanses everything. It's also self cleansing. Hmm. Someone pointed me out to laughter and holding hands again. How do you feel about holding hands? If it scares you, if you feel uncomfortable with it, why? Is it because then you're allowing people to see that you are in love? If you feel safe, why is it that you don't want to feel safe? Or why is it that you don't feel like you can feel safe? You're unraveling something, that's for sure. What does all that mean, spirit? For Leo. I don't know why I always want to, well, call you something else. Straight away, you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Well, that is being optimistic about everything, right? Allow yourself to be optimistic. Everything is possible. Everything is possible and the universe will make everything possible for you. That is beautiful cards to get for beginning or for the first cards. Wow. Don't be so nervous. Don't be so nervous. Okay. Four of Swords. Taking one's time. Well, 
taking one's time, you can rest while things are being worked on. I don't think you need to rush as much as you might feel like you need to. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, because then you realize what it is that the universe is actually trying to give you. 1122 with death. What is that? The golden ticket. Take your time. Rest. Some of you guys might really have worked a lot the past month. Or maybe you have just been a lot in your mind, like you've been anxious, you've been maybe even worried. Restless, I heard. Yeah, overstimulated. <laughs> what? Okay. The universe is so proud of you because you finally realize what this is. But it's because that you've been slowing down and you've been digging a little deeper. It makes sense with the selenite and willow tree. The goddess spiral. Allow the leaves to come back. Allow your energy to come back naturally. There's no need to rush. For some reason, there is a lot of abundance and a lot of magic in the here and now. In the stillness of you not doing or overdoing. Hmm. Wow. wow. Look at that. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. Well, Venus energy. Libra. Taurus, but Venus. Venus energy is this energy of seeing the beauty around you. I feel the universe is actually asking you to really dig deep into your emotions. What is the next step for you? You know what? This is a blessing because right now, the next month ahead, you don't need to do the heavy lifting because the universe is actually doing the heavy lifting for you you just have to receive can you give us more about that yeah right underneath the four of swords letting it go and you know what i believe that this is jupiter in the young. you're way more lucky than you think there's something about using your voice, something about writing or speaking, communicating, that is releasing you from your own prison, from your own mentality. Maybe some of you guys even have Leo and Jupiter. I don't think you actually see how powerful you are, how powerful your words are. The universe is really trying to make you see that. Leo, 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 Leo. It makes sense. And there we have it. I had thought about this card when I told you you are receiving. But for some reason, you have had a hard time seeing that you are receiving. Be allowance. Because the universe is actually trying to give you something here, an opportunity. And that might be something with communication, writing, speaking, the public, media. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? I wonder if some of you guys are actually... The voice of the universe. That sounds big, doesn't it? You are the voice of the universe. You are actually here to teach other people. Mm. 
making your dreams come true and you have all the support that you need but you need to get out of that mind of yours I wonder if some of you guys have air somewhere <laughs> Could you make this your business? Something about communication, media, singing, art, beauty. Yeah. What is this? Get out of your mind. I feel there is a little war going on in your mind sometimes when you want to create something. You always need to fight with yourself. A little bit of a disagreement with yourself. Your ego is like, ar, 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 ar. <laughs> and your heart is like, come, let's do this. We know we can do this, so let's do it. You're being asked to step fully into the new. Let go of the old. Rich, riches of passages of passage. I don't know why I can't. I know I heard that sentence before, but I cannot pronounce it. Ah, <laughs> that just gets to me. Riches, riches of passage. Let it go. Get out of your mind. Get out of your insecurities. Go do it. I trust and believe in you, and the universe clearly does it too. Last card. Yeah. This came out in the daily reading. There is insecurities here. And there is like a fight going on with yourself. <laughs> the universe is handing you this. Being like, there you go. Leo, this is for you. What do you want to do with it? Maybe you're like, well, it's just a stick. What can I do with it? It's not a stick. It's blossoming ideas. And what you do with those ideas is up to you. But you better use them this next month ahead. That is the message for you. Go out there, Leo. I don't want to hear a no. I don't want to see procrastination. I want to see you doing this. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I want to see you guys in the daily readings. Bye next month. Adieu!